Happy Friday. We are learning the Pasha of Tazria. Now, the bulk of the portion deals with a, a, a skin condition, which is called Tsara'at. It's mistranslated as leprosy. In early you know, English translations, which were based on the King James Version of the Bible, translates Tsarat as leprosy. And I guess the reason why it was translated as leprosy, because the, the description of this is very similar to leprosy. It's white blotches on the skin. When the person contracts this, uh, this, you know, this tzorat, and it's found that it's found that it actually is this kind of condition. The person has to be taken outside the community, isolated outside the community. So it's misunderstood that, well, why should a person be taken outside the community, isolated? Obviously, it's contagious, which really fits in with everything what, you know, with what leprosy is about. Leprosy are these white blotches. It is contagious. The person it is highly contagious. The person needs to be isolated. But it's not leprosy. Our sages tell us that, you know, first of all, this comes as a result of Lashon Hara. The cause of this kind of you know, skin type of disease, it's not, it's not a physical disease. It's really something spiritual. There's a spiritual deficiency that this person has which expresses itself on the skin, superficially. Primarily, it was, a co it was as a result of negative talk about others, Lashon Hara, otherwise known as gossip. <laughs> now, 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 Lashon Hara is not spreading lies. That's another, you know, violation. Motsi Shemra, which is spreading lies. This is not spreading a lie. It's spreading negative, negative information about other people. Now, we're not getting into all the laws of this because it's very, very elaborate, very vast. Let's just say we're not talking about spreading negative information that is harmful to others. You know, this person, don't get into business over here because, you know, so many people who he got into business with, he cheated. We're not talking about that kind of, that kind of talk, which is helping others, you know, making sure that they're not taken advantage of. But we're talking about just spreading gossip. Negative news, negative information, or like some people may want to look at it as, uh, I'm just simply doing a service to people. I'm just spreading news. So what I'm doing is actually a service. I'm sharing the latest scoop. And the Torah tells us, if we take a look at chapter 13, which describes this kind of tsaras, the Torah tells us that this individual must be taken to the Kohen. The Kohen must be the one to diagnose this condition, whether this person has Tzaras or not. If indeed this person has Tzaras, the person has to be excommunicated, isolated. And the reason why they're isolated is in order for them to reflect And change their ways. Once they do so, then the, the 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 white 
the white condition will diminish, and this person is then welcomed back into the into the community. Now, I'd like to focus on over here about the contrast between lashon hara and being brought to the kohen. So lashon hara is find is gossiping about others. Why are they gossiping about others? Because they're finding the negative in others. Instead, they're brought to the Kohen, and the Kohen is an individual who the Talmud describes the Kohen is one who loves, who finds the good in others. Instead of finding the negative, Find the positive. Now let's go one other step deeper. Why does a person find the negative in others? And why is that so terrible? So one basic reason is why it's terrible is because this is destructive in a community. When people start talking negative, this person did A, B, and C, and this person, you know who what kind of person they are. First of all, a lot of it is hearsay and is exaggerated, and ultimately it is destructive. It destroys people's lives, it destroys communities. And it's a time that we have to reflect. We have to reflect upon what really is life about. Let's go another step deeper. Why should a person find the negative in others? I shared this story but before. There were two brothers. They were the children of a great rabbi. And the younger brother was a tad taller then the older brother. As kids, it happens. And the older brother, you know, always felt bad about this. Younger brother is taller than me. You know, as kids, taller means more powerful, bigger, you know. Taller is power. And here his younger brother is taller than him. One day they're playing outside, and the older brother you know, gives the younger brother a little push, and he falls in a, in a little in a little ditch. And the older brother looks, says, "Ha, hey, look who's taller now." The father, who was a great rabbi, heard, hears about this, calls the older brother in. He says, "You know, I see it bothers you that your younger brother is taller." But if it bothers you that the younger brother is taller, don't push him down. Jump up on a bench. Find a way to make yourself bigger. But you don't make yourself bigger by pushing the other down. So getting back to the Lashon Hara, which is gossip. Here is really the secret what is the cause of gossip? What's in it for them? They have a scoop, and it's really, it's really desirable. Person has a scoop on someone else; he can't wait to tell. Why does this become the public service announcement? It's because really deep inside, the person who's spreading around the gossip is uncomfortable about themselves. And they really want to make themselves bigger. But instead of making themselves bigger by improving themselves, doing something in their own merit, they make themselves bigger by pushing someone else down. And that's why they're always looking to find the negative in others. It's a reflection, a deep reflection in themselves 
that they're going through something. They need to be uplifted. And so therefore they're brought to the Kohen. Because the Kohen represents an individual who finds the positive in others. And so this person who is suffering, suffering from Tsaras, this kind of condition, is taught the lesson in life. You now need rehabilitation. First step of rehabilitation is the reason why you're gossiping is because you really feel uncomfortable with you where, where you stand. But instead of pushing the other one down, make yourself bigger by pushing the other one down, make yourself bigger by improving yourself, finding real purpose in life, instead of focusing on others. Why do people, even if they're not gossiping, why is it that, that um, all these tabloids sell millions and millions and millions for the same reason? People are uncomfortable with themselves. So here you have this popular person who seemingly should have this picture-perfect life. And these tabloids reveal all the schmutz and all the negativity about them. So now you feel a little bit better about yourself. <laughs> yeah, my life isn't as bad. Look at this guy. Look at these people. They can't get their act together. So for a moment, temporarily, I feel better about myself. But since I haven't improved myself, I don't real, really feel better about myself. So I have to get some more schmutz on other people and some more schmutz on other people. And that's what sells. That's why it sells. So the Kohen teaches us a life lesson. Improve yourself. But how, what's the first step of improving yourself? Find the good in others. That's the first step in rehabilitation. Try and find something good. But I, there's so much negativity. I, I know, I know. The negativity is staring at you in the face. I know that. I can't ignore that. But with that negativity, find something positive. Find something. Something. If you can't find it in this person, find it in another person. But go ahead. Find good in others. And the objective is improve yourself. That is really the the, the lesson of this Torah portion, which has so much esoteric reflection on impurity, purity, um, skin discoloration, what is it all about? It's about that the physical manifestation of things very often is a reflection of what's happening inside of us. So improve what's happening inside of us by doing good, reflecting on good, and by doing so, we improve what's around us. Have a wonderful Shabbos, a joyous Shabbos.